Okay, that's correct. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Live from Waterloo's public access studio, it's Ms. Rocky and Shaviva's North End Update Live. That's right, we're bringing you the good stuff from a North End perspective, of course. That's right, today's guests are artist Jill Wells, who will discuss her exhibit at Hawkeye Community College, and Chastity Martin, co founder of RLCA. Welcome to Friday. You know what time it is. Boom! Shout out, Lexa! Woo! Oh, my oh goodness. My. Now, that's what I'm talking that about. That sounds enthusiastic. I know, yeah. Right? And we have the most enthusiastic guest today. You know, oh, yeah. Chastity's the one that always tells us, Mom, don't look like you're so boring, so we have to get really <laughs> hyped up. That's why we're so energetic. It's all her fault. Okay. Welcome, welcome to the best show on the internet. We're bringing you the good news. That's right. That's right. I'm Rocky. And I'm Shavita. <laughs> and this, and this is, is North, North End, End Update. Update. Okay, we're going to shout out our special frequent viewers. James Russell, Denise Brinker Foster, Rusty Weldon, and Lovely Johnson. Right, Holly Shores, Bob Dorr, and Beulah Smith, and Jesse Coughlin. Right. Welcome and thank you for watching with us because there's always something good happening on the North End. And everywhere else. You right, know this. right. Okay. You know, we're the podcast you can see, mm -hmm. and we want to thank you for making us the best job. Best job. Best show on, on the internet. The internet. You know <laughs> right, Shaviva? That's right. And today our guests are Jill Wells and Chastity Martin, co-founder of our mm -hmm. LCA. And That's right. Jill Wells is a phenomenal artist. I know. I can't wait to talk to her. Okay. It looks like we got comments already. Yes. All right. We have two comments. The first comment is coming from, let me see, Doug Marshall saying happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday, thank Deborah you, Doug. Yes. And the second and last comment we have is Amy Cass saying hello. Hey, Amy. Hey, Amy. We love Amy because she's going to tell everybody what to find That's and where right. to find she's it. She's going to put the links right there in the, the chat. So okay. you'll know how to find whatever you're looking for. We want you to stay tuned with us because we're going to be watch, uh, talking about one of Waterloo's black pioneers, Joy Lowe, in our Give It Air segment. Mm -hmm. And today's talking point will be the three C's, Shaviva. That's right. The three C's. <laughs> <laughs> choice, <laughs> chance, and change. That's right. You must make a choice to take the chance if you want anything to change. So you gotta we're gonna talk about that with our with our guests today. All right. News flash, birthday people. Okay. Yeah. Stay, stay with tuned. us because you know we sing up in here. Yes, we do. All the time. Uh -huh. You can't sing good at all. Shabiba. That's right. It don't matter. I sing loud. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's how that works. Okay. Okay. And how would you like to us to um, help support your business? Oh, okay. That's right. You know, as I told you before, I really appreciate the fact that we have this platform so that we are able to help businesses by promoting you. We purchase something of what you, your services, your goods and services, and that highlights your business and we also then are able to give them as um, gifts to people that are watching. Right, so. and so it's a double whammy, mm -hmm. as my godmother used to say. That's right. A double whammy, you get your business promoted and we get more viewers That's and right. you win, win a win. prize, win, right? Win, win. Right. Okay. Okay, well we're going to go ahead and introduce our guest, Shaviva. Sure, why don't we? Think they've waited long enough? All right. Thank you, Ed Stouffer through TV Magic. We have joining us, and they're so far apart. That's okay. Should we scooch in? Yeah, I don't know. I think everybody's oh. fine. Oh, yeah, they got you. Okay, yeah, we're, we're just good. a little more intimate group here. Yes. Welcome, Hello. welcome sure. to both of you. Welcome, Jill Wells. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. You're I'm excited. so welcome. Yay. And welcome. <laughs> what is your name? My name is <laughs> Miss Bubbly. Yes, Chastity. Indeed. Chastity Martin. Thank the you so Chastity much. Martin. Yay for mm -hmm. joining us. We thought we would kind of break the ice a little bit by doing our drawing. And first, be yeah, oh, should be, but we have to fight for the bell. <laughs> I didn't know what that was there for. I was yeah, really cu curious. That lets everyone know it's a celebratory time for a drawing. All right. Now listen. That's Miss Ella May's bell, right? Yes. All it the looked way like from it was a pretty 
It's art, oh, it's artifact. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. a throwback. It's a throwback for it's sure. It's a throwback from Kentucky. Let me okay. tell you now, Mother had all kinds of stories yes. about this bell. I think it was one of the bell, one relic from her very first job. Oh, so, wow. that's really yeah. cool. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. great to have it here. So today's drawing should be, who's going to, we'll have one person draw one right at the top of the show here because we know you're watching to know, understand who won. Okay, yep, because what had happened was, okay, <laughs> we asked you all to do a 20 second or less, somewhere around that, you know, time period, um, video, short video clip talking about what it is you like about our show. And for the folks who sent us in a video clip, clip we really appreciate you. We have your names in this yes bucket and bucket. someone <laughs> well listen i'm sorry the person who made this is not going to appreciate me call oh. it oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. this lovely vase lovely, excuse lovely me let's make shake, it shake, shake shake there you oh, go like shake, that shake, shake. that's right okay <laughs> And um, shake your vase. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have the voice. You have the voice. I see. You want to have Chas draw that one? This yes. is for the $200 shopping spree mm -hmm. in downtown Waterloo, which does include all in groceries. And the winner is Chastity Martin. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> There was a problem oh, last joke. two weeks. Yeah, that was not a good joke, Chad. <laughs> Ashley Glover. Ashley right. Glover. Ashley Glover. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Ashley, congratulations. Yes, indeed. And that is our last $200 giveaway before Christmas. And we um, actually kind of changed things around from last week, but we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> right. Okay, so our next drawing is oh. for... Oh. Yeah, that <laughs> lets you know there's going to be another You're going to have to take that bell away from me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jill, oh, we're going to ask you to draw for okay. our, one of our top engagers gets a Boom Shakalaka cup. Boom and your Shakalaka life will, cup. Yes, okay. their life will never be the same after they get this cup. One here. Oh, I hope I can pronounce it. Is it a good one? Oh my gosh, this is wild. No joke. This is my grandfather's name. Is that right? I promise you, Will oh, Smith. Will Smith. Oh my yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Congratulations. Yay. Oh, right. oh my That's gosh. Yes. That was divine. Isn't that yes. Great job. Congratulations, congratulations Will. Oh. He gets one of these wonderful Congratulations, Will Smith. Thanks, and Grandpa. And <laughs> congratulations. Enjoy <laughs> and think of us when you have your coffee, tea, or whatever. Yes, yes indeed. Good deal. Well, we're past that part now. We want yes. to talk to you a little bit, Jill, mm -hmm. about if you, or have you heard of, or do you subscribe to oh. the Soul Town? No. No. But I will. Okay, all right. So our work isn't done. All That's right. right. Yes. Soul Town. Yes. The Soul Town. It is a wonderful magazine that was started right here in Waterloo, Iowa by Cherie Kaba, who is now out in California. And this has gone from a local production to it is now. It's, it's not even nationwide, it's worldwide, worldwide. at this awesome. point. Yeah, and there are all sorts of timely articles that have to do with oh, all kinds of great things. Advice, recipes, what's going on in the world, all sorts of things. And as you can see this on the back cover. Oh, it's oh. a With a great reminder. Yes. Vote. Vote on the yes. 7th. Yes, Coming or up. now. You can That's vote right. now. Or early, yes. yes. That's true. Yes. And I don't know, have you read anything good in there lately, Shaviva? Well, yes, Nicole I did. Nicole Hannah-Jones is in there. Yes, talking Ooh. about the uh, all-in grocery store. That oh. is really the big news around here. And every day when I ride past it, it's just... Exciting. Oh, it is. It's yeah. exciting. It's Maybe exciting. I shouldn't be that excited about a grocery store. But oh, but honey, it oh, is. It's been a long time coming mm -hmm. and very well needed. Yeah. Yes. Yes. There has not been a week since it's been open that I have not shopped there. Awesome. So exactly. I shop, well, yeah. because I have six people in my house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you shop a lot. a lot. So mm -hmm. I'm excited about All In. Mm -hmm. Yes, me too. So if you'd like to get a copy, and this is how you can do it. Okay. Yes. Um, go to thesoultownmagazine.com. Okay. TheSoulTownMagazine.com. Yes. And Got you it. can get a hard copy or a digital edition, you know, which, of course, the digital has other little bits and features and stuff Kinda like, like that. Kind of like our show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. So you are able to watch this show. There's a link that you can click and watch the show. That's right. But 
Either way, you cannot lose. Can't yeah. lose. The awesome. soul town. It's, it's a soul double town. whammy win. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm gonna, we're going to switch gears here, and our talking point today is brought to you by the Community Foundation of Northeast Iowa, and we're going to be going to an event there this evening that we've been invited to, which is going to be great. Shabiba, what's that event called? Do you remember? Celebrating community. Celebrating community. Yes. That's what the Community Foundation is so good at. Mm -hmm. So today our talking point, Shabiba? Our talking point today is the three C's in life are choice, chance, and change. Mm. You must make the choice to take the chance if you want anything in life to change. Mm. Yeah. Somebody might need to hear that. So oh, yeah. let's talk about yes. that a little bit, Jill. That resonated with me when you stated that very first before we even got to this part of the segment. And I think in part because of what I made as a choice within my art career. Yeah. So a lot of my changes within the work that I'm doing now and to step away from an eight year career as a substance use counselor. Wow. In 2020, in the middle of a pandemic, oh my. took a huge chance. <laughs> you stepped yeah. out. On okay. faith. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 And it has, it changed my life. It made all the difference. Wow. So change. Yeah, choice, yes. chance, and change. Yeah. Um, yeah, you took the chance. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So what a better talking point. What a better name to draw. I mean, you're just on a roll here. Well, <laughs> glory be to God. Yes. Yes. That's rough in that go. one for sure. <laughs> there you go. Yes. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Um, we, yeah. More comments? Comments, Imani. All right, we have one comment, and it's from Courtney Galloway. Hey, Courtney! Hey, Courtney. She says, hey, Chaz, hey, hey. y'all. Right. Oh, hey. hi. <laughs> Love you. Courtney was the winner of the real estate uh, scholarship, so yes. she's going to be That's letting us fantastic. know. Yes, she's going to let us know how that class is going soon. Great. Yeah, that kind of resonated with me, too, about making choices and making changes. Um, and chance, because mm. um, some things I think in my lifetime I've noticed that I don't feel equipped to do. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. I'm like, that can't be for me because um, I don't know how to do that or I don't right. have the time or the space. But sometimes when you go ahead and step out on faith and take that chance, yeah. it becomes so doable and you had no idea you know so that's yeah. kind of how I relate to it um, from some recent things that have happened in my life how mm -hmm. about you chastity what a great uh, point of conversation those three C's I know for myself taking a sometimes you don't know how much of a chance it is that you just got done taking <laughs> yeah. you're like in the middle of it and you're like oh wow oh, what, what did I do, what did right? I do? yeah that has been my part of my story is I can jump into things and say you know what yeah I will or I will underestimate the magnitude of what the chance was that I took and sometimes I believe uh, God does that to me on purpose because <laughs> if you had time to really think every little detail out you wouldn't do it and so sometimes you kind of build the boat as you're on it or you're yeah. floating yeah. and then yeah. it <laughs> Good and, um, that's but then you, you're in it. Sometimes you get to, you take it like even starting the school or even Courtney can identify when we, we opened up our, our child care center in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, <laughs> I read so. that. I went online and I read that and I thought everything was so incredibly progressive and uh different and yeah. refreshing and I thought yeah. how brave and uh, then I saw how it took off and I was like Oh my gosh. So, well, praise the Lord. Thank affirmation, you. Affirmation, confirmation. Yeah, yeah. Right. you know, we had a great passion to open up the school, the K through 6 Academy, but it wasn't on our radar to open up the child care portion of it. And so we opened that up in the middle of the pandemic and Courtney Galloway, who's yes. watching now, she was a beautiful, wonderful um, part of actually allowing that to still be here and, and, and be sustainable. So yeah. Yeah. Great. How about you, Shaviva? What is that? That um, well, you know, how's that choice, with you? chance, and change are the reason why I'm in Waterloo. Oh, <laughs> um, it goes back. Yeah, I mean, many years, many years. <laughs> yeah, I made the the choice to come here to leave Chicago, and what was most familiar with me and. Uh, I took the chance on coming here because I had one cousin who lived here. I was going to go to Iowa City. Mm -hmm. And she was like, well, if you come into Iowa, you may as well come here because at least I'm here. Okay. Right, Bet. right. 
And of course, coming here has brought uh, a change that I could have never expected. Right. And, and I'm thankful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, and listening to our conversation reminds me that what about our show? It's kind of oh, like the same yes. thing. Yes. Choice. We made a choice to bring good news because we heard so much bad about Waterloo. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we took a chance. And then look at the change. We're in a studio now. Yay. Right? Yay. We started in my backyard. Right. And awesome. thank goodness for Agnes who's working the controls and Ed are great. They're like family now for us. Yeah. Right, Ed? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and Agnes even has us sitting in my backyard again. So yeah. it's it's just a great. I oh, think it's a great topic. Oh my point. goodness! Yeah, yeah, it is. It's the, the fall. Show started, yeah. She had to dig deep to find that one. Nice Thank backyard. you. If I, could, if I could add another C to your three, it would be consistency. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because yes. because you two have been consistent, oh. and that is how I, I would say after the th oh, those three C's consistently showing up every day and mm -hmm. putting in the hard work that's behind the scenes okay. allow something to be sustainable and grow and um, really become something great. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, that was nice. I like yes, that. Nice here. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and jump over to our wonderful Imani. She's going to read in her outdoor, not outdoor quite, but good loud voice. Because <laughs> she's kind of one of those real sweet talkers, you know, like Violet Chass. <laughs> yeah. um, about our Waterloo pioneer, black pioneer, Joy Lowe. All right. Can you share something with us, Imani? When I think he's just about ready. I think we're going to get to see Imani for a second. Oh, yeah. In the shadows. Oh, right. oh I like yeah, that. Lighting there. Yes, yeah, good. it's a good nice vibe. silhouette. <laughs> One of Waterloo's black pioneers, Joy Lowe. Joy Lowe was a well-known civil rights and political activist in Waterloo. She and her husband, Russell, um, she and her husband, Russell, um, fought school and housing discrimination and segregation and worked to mobilize disenfranchised voters in Waterloo. Her influence was felt throughout local and state politics. She was a tireless supporter of the local and regional NAACP and U.S. Representative Bruce Braley and other elected officials. Honored, um, oh, and other elected officials honored her and her husband as mentors. She also, um, she was also deeply involved in her church, Pain Aim, Pain and Me, mm -hmm. Pain and Me, working on various events almost up until the time of her death at age 81 in 2010. Miss Lowe will be remembered for how she used her community influence to make Waterloo a better place to live. Special thanks to Pat Kinney for the information provided. Awesome. Thank thanks. you, and Thank special you. thanks to you, Imani, for reading that. Can yes. we give Joy Lowe a hey. 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 Thank you for Imani yes. as well. Thank you. Um, many of you Waterloo people may understand no, no, Joy Lowe may know that name is what I'm trying to say. Yes, <laughs> yes. and her husband, uh, Russell, they were both, boys. they were a power couple. Mm. Yes, much. they were. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I so learned that. I didn't know about that. Well, I didn't good. know that. Viva got to meet her in person, but I never did. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. So, we're going to talk to our guest now. Jill, we can't wait to oh, hear goodness. Shabiba. What do you have for Jill? We're going to talk to her first. In the hot seat. Yes, you came all the way from Des Moines. We want to make sure wow. that you talk yep. first. Thank you so much for, for joining us, first of all, because I know you are busy. And um, it was just wonderful to find out that, that you had an exhibit here in Waterloo. So just tell uh, the audience, our viewers, something about you and the type of art that you, that you do. Well, I'm an Iowa native. I'm a graduate of Drake University. My background is in painting and fine arts. And honestly, in 2020 is when I really made the shift to start to do more sensory inclusive works, incorporating mm. uh, sound, um, different textures, along with the visual. So you open up your audience and provide work that is, at least for me, I'm trying to become more inclusive. Mm. And in particular with this show at the Hawkeye Community College, uh, when Lindsay Bueller reached out to me, I was working specifically on focusing around 
disability rights, um, focusing on the Americans with Disabilities Act, getting education in history about parts of civil rights that were intersectional with that, mm. that I had not studied in school growing up. Mm. And so I think that I'm getting a little bit closer to making work that is more inclusive. So this exhibit is immersive and you can touch the work. There's audio descriptions you can scan so you can hear what the work is about. And then, of course, there's the visual component to it. So I really, really have been spoiled by Waterloo, oh. honestly. Um, Good. We <laughs> so. love it. Keep being spoiled. Come back soon. And oh, I will. You hang out here a lot, right? <laughs> um, talk about that 3D aspect. Cause you, in our pre-interview, mm -hmm. you told us about a 3D, is it a printer that you use, and, and that's how the sensory can be more effective? Yeah, 3D printing technology is becoming more available. Um, it's actually becoming more accessible cost-wise, mm. and it's advancing to the point where you can create a lot of different textures with it. Mm. And so it's not anything, when you were talking about like change, I changed materials so much, this is one that's very new for me. Mm. So I love to work with other people in that process. And a big part of accessibility in my work are public works. So murals, I think, are probably one of the most accessible forms of work because right. you can just happen upon them, right? If you don't sure. want to go inside a building or if you feel like um, it just isn't something that's built for you mm -hmm. or you never mm -hmm. felt like you were uh, maybe thought of first or it was inclusive for you, mm -hmm. then the public work is just out in the atmosphere and um, there it is for you. However, from a standpoint of living with sight impairments or blindness, then you're reliant on another individual to tell you what the experience is. Or, mm. um, so the autonomy is not necessarily where you would like it to be, mm -hmm. simply because we're not using the technology as frequently um, right. to provide for that. Mm -hmm. And so when I was teamed up with some artists that were using 3D printing technology, it was a game changer, mm. so a change again. Right. right? Yeah. Um, and so I asked them to scan an image of a mural that I had done and whatever the size of the mural is, the scan will basically shrink it down to where it's like a page of a book. Yeah. Wow. And so you can experience the work through touch and have a lot of autonomy and freedom and that you're um, perceiving the work how you would like it to perceive it versus someone else telling you how to perceive the piece. What, what um, inspired you to begin to explore that the, yeah. these things in your art. Right. So in high school, my brother suffered from an AVM. It's an intravenous malformation, and it's an entangle of uh, arteries and blood vessels, and for him it was in the base of his brain. Mm -hmm. And so when it hemorrhaged, um, it caused a lot of damage. He was in a coma for about 11 months, and then mm -hmm. when he woke up, we found out it was it had also impacted his sight, so he lost his eyesight. Mm -hmm. When we used to do all kinds of stuff together. And so I was really quite lost as to how to do a lot of things with him. And a traumatic change for everyone um, in the family. So it took me over a decade to really connect with people in the community that were experts in the field of disability awareness, that were experts in the field of um, different materials or braille. And so that's really what was the changing point for me up until that uh, moment. I didn't have really one, anyone in my world um, that was living with blindness or um, really any disabilities, to mm. be honest. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was quite embarrassed that I had never thought about my visual art, that it was unintentionally excluding a large, wow. large segment of the population from experiencing it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking about how do I make those changes when I was in college, kind of was so focused on graduating and lost as to how to switch mediums that I stepped away from that pursuit. Mm. And then again in the pandemic I had another change. I did a mural for Disability Rights Iowa. They connected me to great services with Iowa Department for the Blind and that's where I learned about Braille. And it's meant to be touched. It's, it's a material that's archival so you can ask someone to touch it and hopefully remove the fear that something will happen to the piece. Yes. So you can integrate it into your work and it's very flexible, you can paint on it, you can turn it into almost anything by deconstructing and then reconstructing it. Wow. It's really fun, it's it really cool. It is so interesting. <laughs> oh, and I think Agnes man. has some of your work there. Um, and, and the fact that it hits home and 
what is it? Necessity is the mother of invention. Mm. It sounds yeah. like um, yes. when it hit the tragic, the tragedy that you spoke of hit, um, it really made you act upon it. And having my father in a wheelchair led me to understand that people really don't understand how to talk to or deal with people with dis disabilities sometimes. And it, it's annoying when it's a loved one, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but yeah. We have some comments. All right, we have one comment and it comes from Nell Kauf. Nell, Nell Coffer. Hi, Nell. And she says, hello, ladies. Okay. I really enjoy your show. Oh, hey, no, thank, thank you. you. Hi, Grandma Nally. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Okay. And so um, in closing, we're going to talk to Chastity for a few minutes. But talk about where your exhibit is now yes. and what you want mm -hmm. people, what do you want our viewers to know? So the work right now that's on exhibit at Hawkeye uh, Community College is in the, I think it's the Van... The Van G. Miller. G. Miller oh, building. Yes. So third floor, it's up through the 13th of December, um, regular gallery hours. Anyone can go in, it's free of cost, and um, experience the entire exhibit that's there. Again, through yeah. touch, through audio, and through visual. Oh Waterloo my. people, that is right in town. That's right yes. next to the um, oh, yeah. Sportsplex. And Burger and King. Angie Miller. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I told you guys spoiled. Everything that? was just like right, right there. there. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, thank you. It's such a joy to thank meet you. you. And thank you for reaching out and doing such a remarkable work that yes. benefits so many. Yes. yes. That's my so privilege. Good. Pleasure. Yes. Thank I'm, you. Yeah. Well, Chastity, you got only just a little bit of time. That's but fine. We're going to talk to you mm -hmm. anyway. She showed up. <laughs> right. Jamie, what do you have for Chas? Chas, I understand that Royal Legacy, um, well, folks who have not, I mean, everybody here pretty much at this point has heard of Royal Legacy Christian Academy. <clears throat> and I understand you all just recently finished a um, readathon. Yes, we Talk did. About that. Yes, we did. So, uh, yep, we are. We have just really one like student-led fundraiser a year. We we try to um, consider all of our students who sometimes don't have the resources or whatever, or parents' schedules don't allow them to go door to door selling popcorn bags and stuff okay, like that. Right. <laughs> so we do a readathon, oh, one awesome. readathon every year that um, supports our school and our operating expenses. Um, and so, yeah, our students have been reading for two weeks and um, encouraging loved ones to give financially. They've set reading goals. They have different books that they're reading. And um, it's a one way that we are encouraging um, our, our supporters and families to support our school financially but, and also encourage our students while they're reading. Yeah. So, yeah. And you had a top reader today that had a drawing. Is that what that was? Oh, the drawing. Well, we actually give out what we call royalty tickets for kids that are displaying great character, like being on time for class, um, being respectful, uh, all of those different things. And so if you get a royalty ticket, you get to put your name in drawings. So we do, we oh. pull prizes. So one of our royal students yes. won, uh, won uh, the book that mom, you came and read to our students about Susie Clark. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. That was such a treat to come there. And your students are so smart. Thank I mean, you. they knew so many of the answers before they were even asked. Yeah. I mean, that makes us great, happy. Yep. Great group of kids. Mm -hmm. What are some things that are coming up? At Royal Legacy, or wait, for, what about the website for the readathons? Oh, People sure. might want to donate. Students. Yeah, we'd love for you to contribute uh, if you want to donate and give a nice positive message to our students, um, encouraging or encourage them to continue reading. You can go to our website rlcawaterloo.org and you can click on the readathon link, and you'll be able to give a donation uh, in that way. For the readathon. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Yes, I up, do. The winter program or yeah. anything? Well, you know, I just like to say we also have a magazine, a student-led magazine. Oh, that's right. A SACE magazine, that. which stands for Social and Cultural Engagement. And so we try to communicate to our students about um, just justice, social justice, ways that you are part of a community and our world and community operates on systems, 
and there is an educational system, a legal system, all these different systems, and we try to see how do, does God care about the things that are happening in your community, mm -hmm. and if so, how can he use you to be a part of positive change and or, and or highlight those things that are positive in your community. And we do this through the vehicle of a magazine. And so there's advertising opportunities and there's um, great, great content on that. Where well. can people get that magazine if they would like to, to read it? They can get it at Earth's Beauty Supply, at um, different retailers, TriPie downtown. There's several downtown retailers that they can per pick up the magazine that's free, uh, grocery, all in grocers for sure, and uh, some other places around town. So, yes. That's Super good. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great? That's so yes. good. Um, and I don't wanted to just say something about what you were talking about, um, that, you know, we don't study things in school about disabilities. Mm -hmm. And I thought how much more that needs to be incorporated. I think just to, how to treat people and how yeah. to, even if it's poise, whatever, um, type of classes. I don't know, how could we teach? Our I think the way that you're talking about justice and systems, that's perfect. Right. That's it. In fact, so one of the, I'm sorry to Go ahead. interrupt, but one <laughs> of the things that we talked about in our SACE class was we talked about, you know, does everybody, what are some systems and how are their systems, are the systems supposed to benefit everybody? everybody. Mm -hmm. And we used our school building as an example. Oh. It's like, does, is our school building good for everybody mm -hmm. and we said well look at our, sc our school was built a hundred years ago and if you had mm -hmm. any type of impairment physical impairment you would not even be able to come to in come our building in and i said how does that make you feel right. you know is that is it good that people that are in a wheelchair cannot even come to school here because there's stairs at every entrance yeah. you know and so those are things that we're mindful of and thinking how can we address that issue and how can we make our systems accessible for everybody yes yeah. well i just wanted to throw that in there I love that question. in closing. Yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. so Thank important. You. It's so yeah. important. And we're getting the wrap-up signal. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. But we want to thank you guys both for being here yeah. and yes, entertaining yes. our talking point and <laughs> listening and learning about our black pioneers. Yes, it's been a really great discussion. Yeah. Right. yeah. Lots of stuff going on, but guess yeah. what? It's time to sing. <laughs> okay. Oh, sing. Oh, boy. No. She <laughs> said she can't sing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> right. Go ahead and tune up there right for a minute. We got the best. That's right. The best birthday people. And with quick warning, if you don't like to see people have too much fun, you know. It's you might time for you to. Right yeah. right. That's right. See, we're not yeah. like the news. They say this might be graphic. This might be too fun. <laughs> <laughs> right. So get ready, cause here they are, the best birthday people: yes. Omar Lafleur Sr., Alicia Kane Hunt, Julie Shepard, Sharon Silva, our dear friend Sharon, yes. Leah Clark. And Carson Morrissey. Yep, yep. Happy birthday to Raymond Norman. Yes. Nicole Dillard. Whoop. Deborah Hodges Harmon. <laughs> yes. Brian Martin. Yes. Okay. Sunday. Yes. Ronald Fink and Rush Cleveland. Yes. Happy birthday, everyone. And I'm sure you will agree. Couldn't fit more perfectly. Then have a world party. On the day you came to be. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Okay, as seasoned women, you know, we've learned a few things. We like to pass things on to you. Indeed. Unseasoned women. You guys just uh, I'm here for it. The salt, but we got the seasoned salt. We got a little black pepper. Got the Lowry. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we've been, we've been around for a minute, right? Thank you. And I've learned that a part of the formula for success is keeping quiet about your goal until you reach it. Yes, indeed. And I've learned Over. that the easiest way <laughs> for me to grow as a person is to surround myself with people smarter than I am. Oh, Amen. my goodness. Hey. Okay. Well, thank you, Shaviva. That was yeah. quite the compliment. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> how you doing with that? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> We've had a great show, Shaviva. And yes. until next time, we want to encourage our viewers to keep doing way more stuff that makes you awesome. That's right. Like Jill and like Chastity. Right. Because 
it makes, makes us all look good. good. And remember, folks, if it's Friday, it's, it's North, North End, End Update. Update. Thank you for watching. See you next time. See you next time. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.